Look, I painted some hummingbirds real fast, little hummingbirds in my kitchen. They remind me of my mother because my mother always had hummingbirds come to her house. Um, it was always by the kitchen window. We'd look out the kitchen window and she had morning glories. Hummingbirds would come every day and night when I was a kid growing up, when I was a teenager. And uh, when she was on life support and I got to the hospital, and I knew she was, I had a feeling that it was time for her to go. I, I had to go to the elevators. And um, right in front of the elevators, I ran smack dab into the gift shop. And in the window of the gift shop was a gold Christmas tree filled with glittering hummingbirds. And I knew that I was making the right decision then to have to take her off the of life support. She got um, pneumonia and it crystallized in her lungs and then it she caught MRSA in the state of a state of an art new hospital and it, uh, it tore it destroyed her lungs and she turned into a jellyfish and she had a reaction to all the IVs so the hummingbirds always come to me. So then I went to, uh, right shortly after her death, some friends of mine's daughter uh, called me and said she was going to spiritual camp in Iowa, the college I was a, a group shepherd through, and said they would pick me up to go take classes for the weekend. It was close to Christmas, so I didn't want to spend the money. But I decided to go ahead and do it. And I was still iffy about spending the money for the classes. And when we got to camp, there was a, um, a big house that they let us into and we went upstairs and it was a big open area with cots for us to stay. And I kept thinking, I'm in the wrong place. And all of a sudden, a lady came, Esther, I think it was, and she said, oh, you're in the wrong room. We went down, and she took us downstairs to a little small room, and above my bed was a rack, and hanging on the rack was a pink hummingbird on a string. And I said, somebody left their hummingbird. And she said, oh, I believe that was left for you. And I knew I was in the right place.